This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back with summer vacation upon us. Many of you might be wondering how to keep your child's brain active throughout the summer months. Well, Ashley Hoke may have the solution. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning. I'm here at the Jameson Street Head Start, joined by Brianna Coleman, who is a preschool teacher here. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now, obviously, summer is quickly approaching, and we're just discussing some different fun and creative ways to keep younger kids' minds sharp over the summer. So just go ahead and tell me a little bit some of those different activities they can um, do. One of my favorite things to do with young children is make Play-Doh. And it's for a lot of different reasons. Is because if they help you make it, then they get their math. They measure. They have to use tablespoons, cups, things like that. So in order to make the Play-Doh, you have to take two cups of, boiling, of water and put it onto the stove. And when it becomes boiling, then you put it into your bowl and you add your salt. You need a cup of salt and then you mix that in so it's melted so it's not grainy. And then you need three tablespoons of oil and you mix that in. And then you start adding your dry ingredients with this flour and your flour is going to give you your Play-Doh consistency and this is not a part good for kids because the, the water's hot so if the adult can manipulate it then the kids can add the Kool-Aid which the Kool-Aid just kind of adds like a sensory smell, texture, taste and it's all safe so if you have <laughs> little bitty kids they are not going to eat it and be harmed it's all edible so once it's all done they can you can discuss the color, you can t discuss the smell, then it can lead into other uh, conversations about what else do you know is green, what else do you know has this smell. Uh, they can take it and they can manipulate it for gross motor skills, they can make their shapes. So if you make a square, then you can say, can you show me a square, circles, things like that. Well, those sound like some different great ideas and a lot of the items people already have at home yeah, to very do some of these. Yeah, very so that people can just get in their cabinets and find everyday things. And it sounds like a lot of fun. So I really appreciate you taking the time to tell me about these. And when no we come problem. back, we'll be learning about even more fun and creative things to do over the summer with your kid, and I'll send it back to you. Time. Let's go ahead and check back in with Ashley Hoke because she's learning about some fun activities your kids can do to keep their brains active throughout the summer months. Hey, Ashley. Good morning. I'm back at the Jamison Street Head Start Center, this time joined by Beth. Hello to you. Hi. Good morning. Now we're back talking about some different activities that you and your child can do over the summer just to kind of keep their mind going and strong. So just go ahead and tell me about some of these fun things that we okay. can do. Okay. Well, um, I work with the infants and toddlers, and one of their very favorite things in the world is bubbles. And most of you are familiar with bubbles you can purchase at Walmart or wherever in and you can buy, you can also make homemade varieties, you can find lots of recipes online, but there's some other ways that you can use bubbles um, a little more creatively with children. And if you'll just take this and pour this into this cup, there's just a little bit of water in there, and these are like bubbles like you would get at a wedding or at a birthday party. <laughs> just <laughs> okay, dump it just in here. pour that in there. And then you can take food coloring or just any kind of paint um, that you might have, some tempera paint, and uh, just add a drop or so of that and kind of mix that in there and then I'm going to have you blow bubbles into that water and then we're going to make a print of it. Okay. And on mine I have cut a slit and mm -hmm. that keeps little ones from sucking the solution up in right. to their mouth. That's so a great idea. We'll blow them in there. And when you get it up to the top just lay your... your uh, Thing out, and then we can lay the paper over it, and you get a, uh, well, the orange didn't show up as much, but you get a print of your bubbles, and you can use all different colors and make all different designs on the paper. You could do it in a great big tub instead, and uh, have several children blowing on the same, you know, working <laughs> on it at the same time. That's a great idea. You just need to use your imagination around your home. Um, and always you can you can check out books about bubbles and go to the library and, and um, you know, do your research. Just keep them busy, keep them unplugged. And yeah, those are some really great and fun ideas, and I really appreciate you taking the time to share those with us. And if you want to have some fun with your kids this summer, buy some bubbles, <laughs> yes. and I'll send it back to you.